All right, guys. So now we know that how to create a new product and save it inside our MongoDB database. So let's go to our database currently and let's see what all products do we have inside our database. So as we see in this collection, that is the products collection inside this REST API YouTube database. We see that we have a couple of products here and these are all Apple products as you can see here. So let's see that how do we get the list of all that products that are inside our database and send a JSON response to the client. So let's go to our express application here and here what we are doing here to get a list of all database we are making a get request to the forward slash products route here as we can see here that we are sending a get request to localhost port 3000 and forward slash products to get a list of all the products so if we click here send request we are getting this response back that is getting a list of all products and this response is handled by this route here that is router.get forward slash and request response next and response.send getting a list of all products. So let's see how do we fetch all the data from the database. So let me comment this thing out from here or let me remove this thing from here. And again, you can use promises or async and await, but here I'm going to use async and await. And if you want to know how to work with promises, then you can watch my previous video where I've created a new product using promises. As we can see here that in the previous video, we created this route here which contains the async and await method to create a new product. And as well as we used promises to create a new product. So this will be there in the reference for you guys in the GitHub repo. But here now let's use async and await to get a list of all the products. So firstly, what we'll do, we'll create the try catch block like this. And for the error, we'll simply log it inside our console. So console log error dot message that is the message contained inside the error object here and later in the series i'll tell you that how do you send this error back to the client but now we are only going to log it inside the console so now let's go to our try block here and here we'll get the list of all products so let's say our results would be stored in this const variable that is results equal to we'll use await like this and we'll simply say product dot find and this is a MongoDB method or Mongoose method, which we can use here to find all the products inside this product model that is inside this product model.js file that this is the product model here. And now what we can simply do, we can simply send back the results to the client. So response.send and we can simply send the results back to the client. But here before running this application or before saving this file here, what we need to do since we are using await here, we need to mark this callback function as async. So we should mark it as async like this here and then only we can use await otherwise it would throw an error. So now let's save this application and now the application is restarted. So now let's go to our REST client here and now let's click here that is get uh, that is get a list of all products. So let me send a request here. So now we see that we are getting the response back and here we are getting a JSON array with JSON objects that is individual products here and we are getting all the products back which are saved inside our database. So this is how you fetch all the data from your database. But what if you want to omit some fields here? That is, you do not want to send this field to the client that is underscore underscore V because this is for internal purposes of Mongoose. So what we can do, we can go back to our product route here and here this thing here that is this find function takes in two optional parameters firstly the query and second the projection if you do not pass any query parameter here then it will find all the documents and if you do not provide the second parameter here that is the projection then it will fetch all the fields that are inside that single model that is our product model and here we have these four fields that is id name and price and underscore underscore v as we can see here inside the database also that we have these fields here that is id name and price but let's see if we want to omit this field here so what we can do we can go back to our application here and we can place an empty query here because we do not want to specify the query here and secondly we need to pass in the projection and we can provide the projection in two ways either you can provide the fields inside the projection that you want to be returned from the database or you can provide in the fields that you do not want to be returned from the database so now let's see what if you want to omit this field that is underscore underscore v you simply have to write a projection like this that underscore underscore v like this and we simply pass in zero here because we do not want this field to be returned from the database so now let's save this application here and now let's go to our rest client here and now let's click here that is send request and this time we won't be getting this field back in all the products so now let's click here send request we see that we are getting back the results but here that field is not available 
or that field is not fetched from the database that is underscore underscore v so this is how you can omit some fields which you do not want to send to the client but now let's see that how do we only fetch the fields that are required by our application what we can do we can simply copy it here and let's uh, make this comment here and let's write it here again because this will be for your reference here and this time what i want to do i want to provide the user with only id and name so what we can simply do we can delete this projection from here and instead of passing underscore underscore v to be zero we can provide here name to be one because we only want name to be in the results so let's see let's save it and let's go to our client here and let's make a send request here so we see here that we are getting the name here but instead we are getting the id also and id is not removed and that is by default because until and unless you pass id to be zero so what we can do if we pass here underscore id to be zero and let's save it and now let's go to our rest line and let's make a send request we see that now we are only getting the name field back and not the id field so now let's pass price to be one also and we do not want to include the id field so what we can do we can simply say price to be one and id to be zero and name is also one here and now let's go to our rest client here and let's make a send request here and we see that we are getting the name and the price of the products and we are not getting the id tag here or the id field here so this is how you fetch products from your database and you can provide the projection that is that is the fields you want to be returned inside your results so now let's have a look at this query thing here because second because second parameter was projection and we have seen about the projection so let's see what this query thing means here so let me comment this thing out from here again and let me paste it here again and this time i would not pass any projection here though if you want you can provide in the projection so what we want to do we want to find only the products that have a price of 699 so what we can simply do here we can pass in a query like this price price to be 699 and let's save it and this time we should only get back an array of only one object because in our array here that is inside our database we only have this product whose price is 699 so let's go to our rest client here and let's click here to get a list of all products so we see here that we are getting only one product because its price is only 699 so let me create one more product with price to be 699 so let's change the price to be 699 and this should be apple watch gps plus cellular and now let's create a, this product here so we get this product here and now let's get a list of all the products but since we are getting a list of all the products whose price is 699 so we'll be getting only two products back so let's uh, make a send request here so we see here this time we are only getting two products here that is iphone 11 whose price was 699 and apple watch gps plus seller whose price was 699 again but this thing is trivial in our case because we want to send all the products back to our client since we are making an api and we are making a very simple api so our best use case is this thing here that is we should pass in an empty query here but we should be omitting this underscore underscore v parameter because it is of no use for the client so we can simply save this application here and you should be sending this kind of results back to the client that is this thing here that is send request here and we are getting here id name and price so that the client can send subsequent requests to your api using this id thing here and he can update the product or delete the product so guys that's all about this video so in the next video let's see that how do we delete a product from our database so till then have a good time